Hello. Most of you probably already know me by now, at least in the virtual world. Um, but I am Becky, and I'm currently working on my degree in fitness, health, and nutrition. And I thought it would be a valuable time to share some of my knowledge with you and use this persuasive speech to teach you a little bit more about nutrition. So my goal today is to make everyone aware of the importance of eating the necessary fruits and vegetables. And hopefully, by the time I'm done talking, at least a couple of you will at least try a little bit harder to eat more fruits and vegetables. Did you know that most Americans don't eat anywhere near the, the necessary amounts of fruits and vegetables that they need? The new Dietary Guidelines for Americans released this year explain throughout the document that it is necessary to eat nutrient-dense uh, food, which would include your fruits and vegetables. Uh, fruits and vegetables contain vitamins, minerals, uh, phytochemicals, and fiber, which basically are going to help your body run the right way. The fiber is going to keep you regular when you need to be regular, all that good stuff. Uh, did you guys also know that when you're eating broccoli, you're consuming calcium? Most people probably wouldn't know that. You wouldn't really think about that. But broccoli does contain uh, some calcium. Also, did you know that uh, there's actually more vitamin C in a red bell pepper than there is in an orange? Interesting fact. Uh, but according to the 150 healthiest foods on earth by Jay Bowden, the most consumed vegetables in America are ketchup, french fries, and iceberg lettuce. And most of us can associate that with fast food as this is kind of turning into a fast food nation. Uh, this combined with the 2007 report of leading causes of death which states that the three top causes of death in America are heart disease, cancer, and stroke, and they are all in some way linked to poor nutrition. Uh, bottom line is, uh, eating more fruits and vegetables are likely to reduce the risk of chronic diseases. Now that you know a little bit more about uh, health benefits and health risks, Let's discuss how much fruits and vegetables we should actually be consuming. So according to ChooseMyPlate.gov, oh, I actually have control. This is the new website that's going to be taken over from uh, MyFoodPyramid.com or .gov. Uh, more than half of your plate, as you can see on this, should be fruits and vegetables. So for women, you should consume one and a half cups of fruit and two and a half cups of vegetables. For men, you should consume two cups of fruit and three cups of vegetables. And you should shoot for a variety of colors. Uh, try and focus on dark green leafy vegetables, red, orange, um, anything that's bright colored. And if you could switch to that other uh, website, please. This website right here, uh, this is fruits and veggies, fruitsandveggiesmatter.org. Um, it gives you a list of all the different colors. So if you could just slow, slowly scroll down on this, you can just get a glimpse of the different colors that you should be focusing your fruits and vegetable diet on. And for those of you watching this on the computer, fruitsandveggiesmatter.org, you should be able to see it a lot better. The next thing that you want to consider is how to increase your fruits and vegetables. Um, some of the things that I want to point out are things like shopping at a local farmer's market. Um, shopping at a local farmer's market is going to give you the local, freshest, most nutritious fruits and vegetables. Um, another idea is uh, growing your own garden. 
something that I just recently did and it actually it makes you think about it on a more constant basis because you have it readily available all the time. Um, you can go to the local store, buy a juicer, uh, Bed Bath & Beyond has them reasonable hundred, two hundred dollars. You can juice whatever you want, make it to fit your flavor needs. Um, or you can make a fresh fruit smoothie, yogurt, fresh fruit, frozen fruit. Uh, try to focus one or two meals a week just around veggies. Uh, and, and these are just some ideas that I came up with. But to sum it all up, think about health benefits of eating more fruits and vegetables. Try to increase your intake and maybe try some new ideas to improve or to motivate you to eat and cook healthier. Thank you for your time and good luck increasing your intake of fruits and vegetables. Thank you.